so we're back. Uh, I am in Solania right now. I um, actually didn't make it here earlier in the stream, but uh, this town is pretty well done. Um, it's a kind of off the beaten path kind of area. And into some of the quests that we have for uh, Soul Town and beyond. up there um, in the bay. There is a town crier here. Uh, there are some crafting shops. There's a alchemist there. Uh, around the corner is a banker. There's the banker. Uh, weapon shop. And various other shops we might need to visit. a skills trainer in case we need one. But this is a, uh, a town that's on the edge of the swamp, so lots of different kind of things will be encountered here that we might not encounter anywhere else. or otherwise just get started. over each of the exits and then leads us from the uh, more secluded area of the island out to the exit door. <sighs> when 
when we arrive in Novia, you'll notice that we're actually kind of in the middle of the swamp that is north of Soul Town. Uh, and the place we're going is actually just south, uh, southwest of Soul Town. So, got a little bit of a walk, but not too bad. So, just follow this path. So this should be familiar.
if you guys are, are bored, we are in the middle of running through the uh, Grand Tour quest. Uh, so we are on step 3 of 4. Uh, we just entered the Tower of the Shuttered Eye. And we will be uh, collecting those for a couple people who haven't done that yet. Um, While we do have a minute, I'm going to go ahead and put up some information for you. Um, you can still donate. Uh, we are. Uh, I'm going to keep going until 8 o'clock uh, before I start doing the prize drawings. So we still got time to get those in. If you do want to participate, please go out to the Extra Life website um, at the address listed on the screen. Click on Support Me and enter the payment information. Uh, as available to win. Uh, right now I am done with the hourly prizes. We finished those at 6 o'clock. However, the uh, $25 and up items are still available. Uh, those are uh, going to be uh, randomed off at 8 o'clock. Uh, so if you do donate, uh, please donate $25 or more so that you're eligible for that. Although any amount is welcome because every bit we get does go towards supporting uh, children in need. So every dollar we get goes directly to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Uh, the one that I'm playing for today is Dell uh, Children's Medical Center in Austin. So uh, I do invite you to donate. Right now I am only $53 away from our team goal and uh, about the same amount from doubling my goal. So uh, please donate. I'm very much looking forward to uh, sending all that information into Extra Life. If you do want to donate for the grand prizes, we have three of them available. Uh, those are going to be auctioned off at five o'clock or at eight o'clock as well, um, about an hour and a half from now. And the top three donors will receive these prizes. Uh, right now, we have the top three are a hundred dollar or one hundred twenty-five dollars, a hundred dollars, and we have two that are tied at fifty. Uh, so if you want to guarantee your spot in here, you need to bid at least 50, uh, more than $50. If you want to have your choice of prizes, uh, since we're going to award the highest donor the first choice, uh, you're going to want to get in above 125 So please get in there. Please donate. Again, all the money goes towards charity, so totally worth it. Um, and then finally, Here's some social media links. If you're on Twitter, follow me, follow Extra Life, follow CMN. Uh, if you're on Facebook, please join the Ultimate Dragons or in the Shroud of the Avatar groups. And if you're on Twitter, follow David Watson because he is awesome and we're going to get some more music from him for Shroud. Uh, we just need to get him to 500 followers. So the rest of the group has arrived and they are actually... Uh, already running over to get the prize there. Um, they're talking to the uh, tour guide in the next room. You can see him right over here. We were here about an hour and a half ago, so we're pretty familiar with this layout. And here's the entrance to the tower anyway. And the last step, uh, step four in the tour, is going to take us to uh, the hills again. Excuse me. Uh, I've been awake for 20 
23 hours now, so I am uh, getting very exhausted. I've been on the air for 23 hours. I've actually been uh, awake for about an hour more than that, so two more and I should be able to go to sleep. at, uh, who is waiting for us outside of the hills. done with this and then we will find something else to do for a little while yet.
Let's just.
looks like we're probably just running around killing stuff, so. Um, not getting a lot of benefit for this, but it is uh, pretty good socially. pretty well. Um, I'm actually going to head to the overland and uh, quick, go quick break to go to the restroom. Alright, sorry I'm back, and I uh, made it out to the uh, overworld, so I'll head back in and see if I can catch up with everybody. As you can probably guess, since it, it is almost 7 o'clock, and I have been running this stream now for uh, 23 and a half hours. I am extremely tired. So I am uh, having a really hard time keeping my eyes open. And uh, and following through on what I'm supposed to be doing. So. Some 
lots of spiders. So I will take the long way around. got another donation. Let me get over here to where they are and then I will check that out. Um, you guys, I'm very appreciative of anybody who's donating. Uh, that does mean a lot. get a new donation from uh, Zronzon, so it looks like that pops me up to uh, $832, so $832, and if I check our so we are getting very close to passing that goal. Thank you guys very much for supporting me in this.
not your last call if you want to. donation you are still eligible for those grand prizes uh, if you've already won something else uh, we will just reassign uh, re-roll the prize that you've won if you win the higher level prizes so don't be afraid to step that up uh, I know a few people have donated uh, at the $50 $40 $35 tier uh, so they do still have a chance to win the grand prize uh, they just need to step up their game so if you are interested please go out and donate and remember every dollar you donate goes directly to the children's miracle network so it is uh, not going to go to waste it's going to go to a very very worthy cause
to share that to um, some of those uh, they are still up for grabs you just need to make sure you get in before eight o'clock and you can still uh, get any of the three grand prizes uh, those are uh, if you have not been watching a mug uh, handcrafted with Lord British's sigil from Rild. Uh, this is something that only a few exist in the world, but Lord British himself does have a pair, so uh, you'll be in good company there. You can get your own custom character as a minifig, uh, courtesy of Joseph Drazen and Soda Bricks, or you can take home a uh, signed New Beginnings comic from THC. And that will also come with a, a board used to create the original comic. So uh, a very rare art treat that you might pick up there. So please uh, jump in and donate the highest uh, donation gets first pick. Right now our highest donation is $125. Uh, so if you want to win your choice of those three items uh, we do need a bit of more than 125 um, if you want to get in on either one of the others um, somebody else might pick uh, something you, don't need. Uh, you can get in lower the second prize right now is a hundred dollars and third prize is a tied bid of 50 get in, you definitely need to dollars. will be available. It's coming down to the wire.
see these signs hanging up here. Those are the signs of Razor Electronics, who uh, the director of Razor is actually a fan of Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, so his sigil is being used for one of the Arterist citizens, who is secretly a necromancer. Uh, so that is something that is a non-secret, but...
ATP protocol is uh, on that list. Uh, the other thing we're is a uh, key for RPG Maker. Uh, so if you're interested in making your own games, uh, you can definitely do that using the RPG Maker game system. I uh, have a key for that. I have a Steam key for an adventure level pledge in Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, so if you haven't already linked your uh, account to the Steam, you can combine those uh, so that you'll see both uh, both benefits. If you have already linked that, it would be a separate account. Um, however, if you have not backed at all, uh, this would be a perfect prize for you to get into the game with us. Uh, I also have four uh, Aether uh, vibration amplifiers that uh, have been donated from Avatar's Radio that we'll be auctioning off. And then the three grand prizes. The grand prize is uh, uh, those three items I just showed you. Um, so to get any of the items that we're going to be auctioning off at 8 o'clock, uh, you do need to bid at least, or you need to donate at least $25 uh, towards the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals through Extra Life. Um, and if you want to get in on the grand prizes, uh, you need to bid the highest amount, uh, one of the top three. So. Alright, and we have about 40 minutes left on that, so... We are all out of the system, out of uh, Desolate Hills. So we're going to be breaking up and uh, going our own ways now. But thank you to Royal Sexy for bringing us out on a uh, excursion into uh, the various locations to uh, earn our hats and uh, then just battle through the desolate hills and earn some new XP so had a lot of fun uh, I died a lot but that's not unusual for me so thank you very much uh, sorry I was not really paying a lot of attention uh, my brain was going off in different directions uh, just because of the, uh, the lack of sleep I think Thank you, thank you, thank you for for doing that. be morning. There's a bunch of people logging in now. I uh, s just saw Asclepius uh, with the caverns. He is logging in right now. Um, there are a few other people on my Steam friends list that are showing they're logged in, even though they're not in my in-game friends list for some reason anymore. Let me just make sure 
it's nothing I need to be concerned about. Uh, no, I don't think so. Alright. Uh, extra life. Uh, there's no new donations that have come in recently. Uh, so, if you are interested in getting your donation in, uh, you have 35 minutes to do so. Uh, I'm going to start uh, bidding out those $25 prizes at exactly 8 o'clock, and I will have the uh, top three ready to go sometime before 8 8.30. Uh, so, definitely get those in as soon as possible. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's run over to uh, Arteris from here. inside here um, see if there's anything that we can throw together for about a half hour I didn't loot anybody while we were in there so I don't have any craft goods I don't think uh, but I'll go check the bank most likely I dropped all of those in the uh, Soul Town Bank, though. So, if we need to, I can shoot over there. I did run out of arrows while we were in the hills, in Desolate Hills. Um, so, you could see I was using my uh, abilities, but I wasn't actually charging my shots because I had no arrows to shoot. Uh, again, this is one of the reasons I would really like to move away from individual arrows for auto attack, aimed attack, uh, or not aimed attack because that's a skill, but auto attack or uh, charged attack, free attack, uh, and use instead some sort of quiver functionality that would be equivalent to a sword, because um, melee don't have the same restrictions that range do. Um, and it does not seem to uh, equate very well. He does throw these uh, uh, grand tours from time to time. Um, he goes to different locations throughout Novia. Uh, so if you're ever up early and you want to join him, um, he goes for a couple hours in the morning. I uh, would normally not be here at this point. I would be on my way to work. Uh, but... There are uh, extenuating circumstances when you're uh, willing to take time off to raise money for children. So, I uh, am doing that, and so far we have gotten quite a few in. We have... Uh, 800 and 817 dollars that I've raised and my team has 962 so uh, if you can donate 38 dollars to put us up to our goal of a thousand uh, that would be awesome 
I would love to hit the goal for both me and the team. I'm uh, way over my goal. My goal was 500. So 817 will uh, will definitely do for me. Uh, but if you can help us get to our $1,000 goal, um, that would also get me to uh, 840. So I would be well over the goal that I set for myself. And you will have a chance to earn even more um, prizes. So that will get you into 25. Uh, the $25 drawings, which will be happening in a half hour from now. Uh, so please, 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 please get on, donate, and we will finish this off in just about a half hour. Alright, uh, I was going to the bank. Here's the bank. I forget what I'm doing this early in the morning. And what I'm looking for is things to make. So the head is in Soul Town. Cinnamon is in Soul Town. Soul Town, so it doesn't look like I'm actually going to be able to make anything right now. Um, I'm not sure that anything I could make would be worthwhile at this point anyway, but uh, it would probably be worse off than the broken stuff I pulled up from fishing. Um, I do still have 20 worms available, so I suppose we could go do some fishing uh, here in Ardress. Actually, let's go over to the bridge north, because that will have a fishmonger there. And we can just fish right off the side of the bridge there, so that will be a good thing to finish out the day with. Um, I found fishing in a lot of games is strangely relaxing. There's not a whole lot to it by any stretch of the imagination. However, uh, it's just kind of a way to sit and chill and enjoy yourself, which is a lot of fun uh, when you're in a game like this. So, let's see if we can reach the water. We'll need to equip a fishing pole. We have some worms, so let's see if we can reach the water from here. Nope, we are too high up. So, we're going to need to go down a little bit. But since we're here at the fishmonger, let's go ahead and sell anything I might be carrying that we don't need. Uh, things like Regents, beer, and I'm going to hold on to a lot of this other stuff, um, yeah, that's fine, and I'll buy some more worms, because why not, we're going to sign that off. Now have 50 casts that we can do into the Arteris River. If the guard would get out of the way. So let's do some river fishing. Oh. 
depends on what you like to do for fishing, um, how much you will enjoy this aspect of the game. There is uh, just something nice about standing peacefully and casting into the river, pulling up a couple fish and maybe a, a special prize. So, Broken helms are not necessarily a special prize. Unless you like that sort of thing. So, again, we are 25 minutes out from the drawings. Uh, if you want to get in on those, uh, make sure you pledge at least or uh, donate at least twenty-five dollars to Extra Life, and you can do that by going out to extralife.org, and my page is down at the bottom of there. that we've been having some uh, problems with the stream on Twitch, uh, so if you have not been able to listen, uh, I am deeply sorry for that. Um, I am uploading all of these uh, to YouTube so that you can uh, watch the entire stream in HD. Uh, however, um, the prizes are going to be announced here shortly. Uh, so if you do win something, I will contact you tomorrow, uh, and, well, t later today most likely, uh, and then you can uh, get your prize either shipped out to you or claim it as you uh, see fit. If you are not interested in the prize that you won, uh, just let me know, and I will see what I can do about trading items. Um, there are uh, a limited number of, of spaces that we have available, um, so almost everybody who's donated has won something. Uh, and I still haven't given away the, the topmost prizes, so we're probably going to have some overlap. Uh, anybody who won a hourly prize or buy hourly prize um, and are still eligible for the $25 or more prizes, um, when I draw those out, you will actually have the opportunity to, uh, well, not opportunity, uh, if you win one of those higher level prizes, I will go ahead and re-roll the uh, earlier prize that you won, so everybody has a chance. Um, uh, I'll, of course, exclude those three top bid from our top donors, uh, because they are going to win those top prizes, so... Um, we want to make sure everybody gets something if uh, it's available. And I believe we are going to have enough prizes to go around. There should be very few people that don't get anything for their time. Uh, and that is a tribute to the type of community that we run because... Uh, I had a few items that I'm donating, uh, a couple of Steam keys and some credits that were sitting in my account. Uh, everything else came as donations 
uh, to this charity drive from the community members. So either additional uh, credits for the add-on store, um, items from the add-on store, uh, items that were physical, uh, whether they were Rilled uh, had donated a number of uh, merchandise items, uh, but he was not the only one. There are coins that were donated from the developers to Lazarus, and he was kind enough to share those with us. Um, Style Tickle has had a coin that he was willing to share with us, uh, so it's uh, it's great to see the community stepping forward and helping out the kids uh, like we are doing here today. list is a single prize it looks like they are yes so don't have any duplicates there uh, so until we hit the $25 prizes we should be pretty safe um, and that's when things are going to start getting interesting on how many times we have to award things. And also note, if you do win a higher prize and you would prefer the one you originally won, um, we can definitely contact the, the new winner and see if they'd be willing to swap. Uh, there is no, no harm in that. Um, I can definitely understand some people may not have the same appreciation for some of these items as I do. Um, a lot of this is just based off of uh, their value out of the box. So I uh, wanted to make sure that everybody got a prize at least worth what they are putting into the, the donation box. So. this area so I'm gonna move down a bit and see what we can do let's try this little jetty near the uh, where the manor keep items uh, than I have caught fish. Which seems odd. However, I know that this isn't imbalanced at all yet. Um, in the future, there's going to be uh, special fish available depending on where you are casting. Uh, so in Arteris there's going to be different fish than if you try to go into Blood River and fish, uh, or if you try to fish into the ocean. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, 
Uh, you also have better chances at different times of the day, uh, better chances uh, when it's raining, and most likely you'll have a different chance uh, for a deep fish compared to a shallow fish, depending on where you cast your line, uh, compared to the depth of water. Uh, so there's definitely some improvements coming down the pipeline for that. Um, last release, fishing was a single skill. Uh, now it is a pair of skills uh, to help you reduce the number of bait items that you need to, to carry around. So uh, as an iterative process, uh, we understand that these are changes are coming slowly but surely, and we will see them in a future release. just noticed I was wrong. There were was a duplicate. Uh, Celine Noctua run a uh, developer challenge coin and she also won a five dollar credit so uh, looks like there is at least one that we're gonna have to rebid on. So uh, but that's okay. Those are all coming up in 15 minutes anyway. Uh, so, let's wait on that. And make sure we don't have anything else coming in through Extra Life. We... Uh, let's see if we do. Nope, nothing yet. I hope if anybody is interested, um, they are aware that the uh, $25 items and the uh, highest bid items are still available, and those are going to include a number of uh, higher tier, higher price items, uh, so you can definitely jump in on those. The highest bid items are currently still sitting at $125, $100, and a paired donations of $50. Uh, so if you can easily get in, uh, snipe a, a third item, a third tier item if you want to bid $55. Um, that will be enough to break the bid. I know a couple people have already uh, bid right under that tier, so uh, they could uh, could sneak in and increase their bid uh, just by making a, don a new donation, and I will add that to whatever they have uh, donated before to determine their total bid. Uh, so get in while you can. And we will raise a little bit more money for some very worthy children through Extra Life. Um, right now we are sitting underneath, well, not underneath, but near the bridge inside of Arteris, uh, doing some last minute fishing. We have 12 minutes to go before 8 o'clock. Um, at 8 we are going to start uh, 
rolling on those $25 items um, and pulling off any of the uh, duplicates and re-rolling those. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that soon. But I do want everybody to have their minute, last minute shot to get their uh, bids in and donate to Extra Life and make sure you get the item that you want. So. So far today, we've given away, let's see, $65 in add-on store credits, uh, two copies of Kingdom, uh, two Oracle coins, a Dark Star vs. Lord British Challenge coin. Two of the Developer Challenge coins, which are only uh, given out to Portalarium staff, and you can uh, challenge them to get one if you meet up with them. We have given out uh, two Relic Spiraled Beanies hats. Um, of the winner's choice, you can either have Dark Star or Lord British in your choice of color. Uh, we've given out three T-shirts from Rilled, uh, so there are a number of different styles and colors available. We've given out a pair of pint glasses uh, emblazoned with Lord British's face and uh, the name of the game. We have also given out oh, that might be it. Yep. The other prizes are pending. Um, we're gonna start here in ten minutes, nine minutes, uh, to give out some final final prizes, which are going to include a copy of RPG Maker, so you can make your own games, um, make a Ultima spinoff if that's something that you'd be interested in. Um, fan developer games are some of our favorite things to look at. Uh, we also have a copy of Fallen A to P Protocol, a copy of uh, Shroud of the Avatar itself, if you want to join us in the game, uh, you can win a $45 Adventurer Pledge uh, through Steam. We also have four Aether Vibration Amplifier consoles uh, donated from Avatar's Radio. And the three grand prizes. So take a look at those while we're sitting here. A handcrafted mug with Lord British's sigil, uh, courtesy of Rilled. A custom Lego minifigure, uh, courtesy of Soda Bricks. A signed Shroud of the Avatar New Beginnings comic and original board used to create a page of the, that comic from THC. Those are grand prizes available. Uh, the person who bids the highest gets their choice. Uh, the second highest will get their, the choice of the two remaining. And third place will receive the remaining item. Uh, these are all three excellent prizes. Uh, no one should, should uh, not want to have any of those. Uh, I would keep all of them if I could. All right. If you are still interested in donating towards getting one of those, uh, please go out to extralife.org. You have five minutes. This is your five minute warning to get out and donate before we start uh, giving things away. So 
very last minute, jump out, give us a donation, uh, increase your donation. I would love to see um, another $38 if possible uh, to put the Renault Zephyr team over our $1,000 goal. Uh, please help us make that happen. Just a few more minutes. <laughs> and hopefully you're bearing with me as I uh, talk to myself a lot. chance to fish. Probably not going to catch anything. That's not to say never, but not likely. minutes. We have three minutes remaining before we do our drawing. So uh, I'm going to uh, take my character somewhere and log them off uh, so that we can start getting ready to close. Uh, and I can go take a long, long nap. That's where I have all my stuff in the bank, and I can uh, retrieve those easily, uh, but I will just log the character off. It's not something I need to worry about uh, fixing right this second. Been here several times today, uh, but 
I'm going to run into the main town area so that I can log out. And then I do have a thank you message that I want to play for you guys. And we will get started on the bidding. Or on the uh, prize awarding. you guys how awesome you are. Um, you have far exceeded what I expected to earn uh, towards Extra Life, so I was uh, hoping originally for $250, um, and then everybody stepped forward in the community and gave me such awesome prizes uh, that I had to push as hard as I could to get more, uh, <laughs> just to equal out what I was given. So, uh, I want to thank the community so much for helping me. Um, thank you to everybody who's donated. And um, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of Shroud of the Avatar. So I'm just going to drop it into here again. Thank you. Nope, stop. Wait until uh, it's full screen. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play this. It uh, is only... Uh, minute and a half long so as soon as it's done we will go ahead and get started so thank you guys very much i will be right back thank you
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, the, uh, the first thing we're going to be giving away is Fallen A2P Protocol. Um, this was a game that uh, Richard Garriott gave a call out to and was one of the games to fund on his uh, on the Portalarium update to the Avatar. Uh, so let me verify we don't have any new donations at this point in time. No, so we are going to cut those off. If anybody else does donate, we are very, very happy to get your donation. Um, and we will forward that over to Extra Life so that they will make all the difference for a child. Um, but it is not going to change any of our prizes at this point. So, um, Fallen A2P Protocol is going to go to one of our $25 pledges. And we have a total of 20 of those. I'm actually going to block off the two that have the highest. I'm going to do a quick random on the two that are tied for second place. And that is now marked off as well. And now we have a total of 17 people eligible so i'm going to do a random between 1 and 17 to determine who gets the fallen a2p protocol and that is That is Neil Graham. There we go. A2P. Uh, so Neil Graham won that. Let me make sure and see if he had won anything else today. Yes, he had won a copy of Kingdom earlier. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and reschedule that. Um, and let's see who still has... I'll just put it over here and we can redo all of these at the same time. All right, now we also have a copy of RPG Maker. Uh, this is uh, designed as a, a tile based um, Final Fantasy esque uh, type of game system. However, you can make a number of different games through this system, so uh, if you do want to try your hand at making a, a game, you do have a full availability of this. So I'm going to go ahead and auction that off as well. There's now 16 people available for that. And it is... Seabear. Seabear 1... RPG Maker, and he had previously he won a $5 credit, so we'll go ahead and reschedule that for you. Uh, again, if you guys don't want the prize that you're getting for some reason, just let me know. I will contact you all with your prizes tomorrow uh, after I get up and uh, can speak coherently again. Uh, but we can definitely tr do what we can to uh, to get you guys a prize that you will like. All right. Um, the next thing we have here is a Shroud of the Avatar pledge. Uh, this is a forty-five dollar equivalent uh, adventure level pledge benefactor. Um, it is a Steam key. So if you have not already attached your soda pledge to Steam, you can add these two together and increase your total pledge amount. Uh, if you already have a, a Steam linked to your soda account, uh, this would be a secondary account. Um, unfortunately, we can't remove any value from a Steam uh, account. 
uh, that would take it below $45, so this would be a secondary account for you. Um, if uh, Let's see, who do we have available for this? And where's our random? There we go. And that goes to Ender Andrew. Uh, definitely know he has an account. Uh, I don't know if he uses Steam or not, so I will contact him. Uh, let's see what Ender won before. I remember hearing his name. Uh, he had a $20 credit previously. Uh, so if that's something that he would prefer instead, I'll definitely switch him for that. Uh, Alright, uh, next up we have four uh, Aether Amplifier, vi or a Aether Vibration Amplifier, wow those are hard to say. Uh, These console standing boxes that, when used, will actually play uh, Avatar's radio. Uh, you can use these in your house, in your business, uh, standing free in your town, I believe. So if you uh, if you want one of those, we do have four of these available. I'm going to go ahead and random out how many we have. And we've got... Kate O'Neill wins one of these. Um, and Kate had previously won a t-shirt, um, so she will probably have her choice of which of those she would prefer. Um, uh, Peter... Uh, Peter Borko, who goes by Santa Claus on the forum, uh, wins a Aether Vibration Amplifier. Uh, previously, he had won a $10 credit. Um, the Vibration Amplifiers are worth $25 if you turn them back into credits, so uh, that's definitely an upgrade for you. Viren won a vibration amplifier. Uh, previously, ha he had a Lord British Dark Star Challenge coin from Relics by Rild, uh, so he will get his choice on those. And one more. Rustic Dragon. Uh, Rustic wins a Aether Vibration Amplifier console, so maybe he'll use that to spruce up his uh, Hearth of Britannia. Never know, uh, but we have him on that list now. All right. Um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and reschedule a few of these just because I know. Um, what some of these are worth and uh, they're definitely an upgrade for some people. Uh, Celine actually had a, a $5 credit earlier uh, that I'm going to reschedule so we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 possibles. So James Hughes, when uh, we're going to move that $5 credit over to him, uh, thank you very much for your donation, and you have a $5 credit to the add-on store. All right. uh, we also have that $5 credit that Seabear had previously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reschedule that to... doesn't work. That was 
was my son, so I shouldn't be on this list. Sorry about that. There we go. So that $5 credit is going to go to Zerozon, who actually just pledged. Uh, he was the last person to send anything in. Um, so you have a $5 credit on the add-on store. And then I will actually work with uh, the other people who won to determine which ones they would prefer. Um, I do have right now five items that I'm going to redraw at some point. Uh, but it will depend on which the uh, original winners would prefer. So uh, whichever of those five don't go through, I will re-pledge and send out updates uh, to everybody let, letting you know who won what. Uh, so just as a um, an aside, I'm going to go through each of these for you. Uh, we have uh, Ender Andrew won a soda pledge. We have Seabear won the RPG Maker, uh, Neil Graham won Fallen ATP, and uh, Rustic Dragon, Santa Claus, Kate O'Neill, and Viren all won Aether Vibration Amplifiers. Uh, we have Winfield with a copy of Kingdom. Uh, Jack and Indy Martin both won an Oracle Coin. Uh, Balak Dakani, uh, Seth Gupton, each won a t-shirt. Eric Lust won the Lord British pint glasses. Uh, Jason Jorgensen won a challenge coin. Uh, Anseline Noctua uh, won a challenge coin. Houston Dragon and our anonymous donor. Um, actually, the anonymous donor is one of our highest, so we will move that over as well. Um, so, uh, Houston Dragon won a beanie. And let's see, we have uh, Zerozon, Boda, Lomir, uh, Gabrielle Nightshadow, uh, James Hughes. And uh, all I have is an email address, so uh, th those people each won credits. Um, and then I do have, looks like six items I'm going to rebid at some point uh, once I find out what the winners would prefer. All right. Uh, the grand prize winners are going to be $125 was pledged uh, from Amber Rain. So Amber gets her first pick of one of the three grand prizes. So we're going to switch over and show those. So she gets to choose which of these three that she'd like. Uh, the second place is Anonymous. Uh, so whoever they are gets their pick of one of the two remaining items. And David Peters, uh, our own beard commander that we were talking to earlier, uh, he won third place uh, with the $50 pledge and won on a random. So uh, everybody on that list is getting something, and we will uh, have a, a follow-up post about who is getting uh, those last few items um, I will let you guys know so if you guys have any questions please reach out to me I'm looking forward to working with you and getting you exactly what you want and thank you guys so so very much for all of your pledges all of your support and I could not have done this without you guys so thank you thank you thank you 
and you guys are, are an awesome, awesome community. I am going to upload each of these videos uh, that I've, I've made today. Uh, they're each about two hours, except for the first two, which uh, got cut really short because I was having some technical difficulties. Uh, so those two are, are quite a bit shorter. All the others are about two hours a piece. Uh, so you will be able to watch this in its entirety on YouTube uh, within probably the next couple of days. Um, I will try to get those up as, as soon as possible, but they are extremely large files. So uh, they're each over a gig. But thank you guys, and I will see you all soon. I am going to bed right now. So have a great day, and rock on.